I can break these cuffs. You can't break those cuffs. Ah! All right, this is going to be a tutorial for the Sorry About an Editor. Just for the lulls, I guess. I don't know. Just chill. Keep, take it easy, man. Okay, you make a new map. You go to here, editing, blah blah blah, map up, and you press new map. Uh, this is size 10. 10 is pretty big, as you can see. Gives you lots of room, so don't go. Like, freaking, the max is so huge. I don't know what the max is, but it's gigantic. Uh, I'm just walking around here for some reason. Yeah, I was showing that you can fall off the edges of the map, so you need to make walls. Um. Now to go into this flying editing mode, you press E. Um, I actually already did this, I already recorded my voice, but my microphone was off. I noticed that after I recorded it, so I'm just doing a voiceover right now, because I don't want to redo it. Um, now, if you, when you're in, edi in, your, once you're in editing mode, uh, what you do is you press mouse 1, and then you drag it to select, and then you scroll your mouse wheel to make move it up and down. You can make blocks that way. Uh, now I'm showing how much bigger you can make the grid size by uh, pressing G and scrolling your mouse wheel. And that will make it bigger. You can press G and scroll again and it gets smaller again. And you build the tunnels and big shit. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, and uh, to undo is Z and then to redo is I. So I'm showing those features right now to undo and redo. Uh, to do terrain, what you do is you select an area, you press H, you, you think it'll turn green like that, and then you scroll your mouse wheel, you make terrain. I would assume that it's higher detail if you make your grid size smaller. I'm not sure about that. I haven't actually tried it. I just realized now I didn't even do anything like that. Um, but yeah, that's how you make terrain. You can try it with a smaller grid size and see if your terrain gets higher detail. Because as you can see, that was pretty blocky. Oh, I'm showing you how to make, how to make corners. Um, you uh, you click down your middle mouse wheel um, and you scroll once it once it's selected, and you can push the edges in. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty simple. Um, now, to push to push cubes in without making the size, like what you can do is like like you can push edges in, you can also push cubes in, like the entire cube. Um, and I try to do this in a bit. I'm just gonna fast forward this part actually. I'll cut back in a minute. Alright, so here we are. I finished making my corner or whatever I was doing. Um, so here I'm trying to figure out how to do this, but I don't know how because I'm stupid. I was showing the, the corner method. You can like push tiles in to make them look more realistic, like they're damaged or something. Uh, but you can also do this. The way that I was trying to do it was I was trying to, trying to push the whole thing in at once. And to do this, you hold down F and then you scroll down. I'll do it in a second. But uh, it takes me a minute to figure it out. Um, so yeah, just uh, hold down F and scroll, and it'll push it in a tiny bit instead of pushing an entire cube down. If you understand that, if not, they keep watching. It'll show it. And then after that, you can just stop watching if you want. But then I go on to make some like lava pit with glass over it or some shit. And here's when you can find all the controls. Uh, the scroll has a lot of useful stuff, and then the keys, and then the editing. I think that's start yeah, that should be everything. Anyway, have fun editing and freaking GG, I don't know. Peace, have fun watching.